All right, so here we have a news article from uh, NevadaAppeal.com. Ron Paul Barians are at GOP's gate. The Nevada Republican Party convention this month was pretty much like every other GOP convention. Floor arguments over obscure Roberts' rules of order, that's my rules, bylaws and credentials. Lots of proverbial sound and fury signifying nothing. Only this year, on steroids. The convention was fairly evenly split between Mitt Romney supporters and party loyalists. Is there really a difference? Versus Ron Paul supporters and many Tea Party activists. With the insurgents enjoying a significant majority not only to elect 22 out of the 25 of their own to the GOP National Convention in Tampa, but to oust the party sitting National Committee, Committee man and Committee woman as well. The rabble's success has many establishment Republicans gnashing their teeth, with one sour grapes GOP blogger referring to the Paul supporters as a bunch of liars, cheats, and thieves. Or terrorists. <laughs> when they're the ones who create terrorism. Anyways, but the reality is the Paul folks played by the rules, and more of them attended the convention than the other team. As the saying goes, the world belongs to those who show up. In the meantime, many in the media are scratching their heads, wondering, what was this all about? What do the Paul people want? Don't they know they've lost? That Romney's going to get the nomination? Well, true that some Paul supporters still hold out hope for Tampa. The more realistic are already looking well beyond November's election. They know that in politics you often lose a number of early fights in order to gain experience and grow your movement for the long term. Indeed, should Ron Paul fail in his presidential effort, he will have nonetheless successfully planted the seeds for an emerging liberty movement, which is not quite the same as the, quote, conservative movement, that will hopefully enjoy far greater political victories in the years to come. Barry Goldwater 2.0 As such, don't be surprised when a lot of Ron Paul Republicans cast their lot in November with Libertarian Party nominee Gary Johnson rather than, ugh, rather than Mitt Romney. Gary Johnson's foreign policy is a mess. We'll deal with that later. But that's stupid. Many establishment Republicans who have never heard of Dale Carnegie are already brang. Well, add me to the list. Don't uh, they know that will only help re-elect Obama? Oh, they know it. They just don't care. The emerging liberty movement is sick of both establishment Democrats and establishment Republicans. Their objective is for a return to the limited constitutional government established by the founders. In that pursuit, you're either with them or against them, regardless of party. Now, unless you're part of this movement, such logic will seem insane. Insane. But for the Paul folks, it makes perfect sense. And the GOP establishment would be well advised to wake up and smell the revolution. Better yet, embrace it, or else. Chuck Muth is president of Citizen Outreach. He can be reached at chuck at citizenoutreach.com. Paid for by citizens. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, uh, that was a good article. It wasn't a hit piece. Um, kind of an interesting little, I don't know if it was a, uh, I don't know if the guy's like a supporter of ours, but it doesn't really matter. What is interesting, though, is how there's no mention of the whole bound delegate thing. And until that starts to, um, I don't know, it needs to become more mainstream. We need to talk about it as uh, Ron Paul supporters, um, and we need to get it into the media to some extent, I think, unless we want to keep it hidden until the convention, which actually that might be smarter. Uh, you know, we keep it we keep it on the DL, and all of a sudden at the convention on the first vote, um, instead of all the delegates voting for Romney or Santorum, whoever won their state, all of a sudden Paul's winning, Paul's winning, Paul is winning. Romney, Paul, Paul, Romney, and next thing you know, <laughs> that would be hilarious. Paul wins on the first ballot. <laughs> that would be awesome. It would be so epic. But we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting. See ya.